Hello everyone, my name is Nafrenoob, also known as the Wall Lead. And today I'm going to show you how to use and inst install and use the Assassin's Creed Graphic Launcher. Now first of all, I have to excuse the quality of this video since I am on vacation and this is on my laptop. So yeah, the video quality is going to be a bit... bit, um, bit low today. Okay, so we're gonna start by opening our preferred web browser and go to bit.ly slash accraft then press enter now on this page you're going to scroll down a bit until you see the link called software you're going to click that link you're going to go through a little ad fly before you get to download the installer. Oops, didn't quite work there. Come on. There we go. Oh, great. So you only need to download once. And here's the download file. So the next step is to execute that file. Press run. Next, you can change it if you want to. Next, next, and it's going to install the files for us. Okay, after it's finished installing, you can click close, and you see it created this little link on the desktop. You can now go ahead and create, uh, delete the installation file. So now, if you start the launcher, you're going to see this interface right here. There you have your um, the version that the launcher thinks you have installed and the latest version. Then you have um, a lot of options up here. So I'm going to start with the uh, file options. So we can click on file. We have a bunch of links. You can go to the official website to the YouTube channel, to the live stream, to the Wikipedia, to the forum and exit the launcher and then you have those three things right here first of all we have the support tab you can um, write an email if you need support for the launcher so let's say your name is um, Tom and then you pretty like have the error crashing launcher. Then you write your email like your at mail.com. Then select the target, which is an error, and then describe the error like my mother um, punched me in my face lol. Then you can click send response and I'm going to receive your message and I can answer you via, via this email. Now, then you have um, the option to autofill, which if you select idea and autofill, it's going to autofill everything for you. So that was the support tab. Then we have the update launcher tab, which if you need up to update your launcher, um, you can open that, but I'm going to show in a second how it works. Last but not least, you have the force change in the version, which is not, uh, which only for developers. You need a password to access it, so if you want to um, go out of this menu, just type the password wrong three times and it will come back to the old menu. Well, then you have the utilities. First, you have the change log, where you can see the change log for Assassin's Craft and the launcher. And then you have the counter. Oops, I clicked the wrong button there. That was, by the way, the start Minecraft tab. I'm going to explain that in a second. And you have the next version countdown. And here it will count down until the next version is most probably released which is August 13th, 2012, is B1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
114 I've released. So let me actually just adjust some files and then come right back. So continuing on our list we have the start Minecraft button. When I click that it's automatically going to download a Minecraft instance for you and start it up so you can play Minecraft. And then it has this install Assassin's Craft Lite button. Now when you click install Assassin's Craft Lite and click try, it's going to try to install the mod loader version of Assassin's Craft for you. It's also has to be sure to have Minecraft for it installed. And then you can press start Minecraft and play with Assassin's Craft. Then you have the auto refresh option. Um, so if you set the timer to 5 seconds, deal as well is going to refresh every 5 seconds. So if the version gets updated, you're going to see it. Then we have the hide the taskbar, which just hides it there. And the get new version button, which lets you download Assassin's Craft, the newest version to the desktop and updates your version properly. Now, um, yeah. Now, in case that the, there's another update available for the launcher, when you start it, you're going to get this interface right here. Whoops, it seems that version B103R2 is out. You have version B103. You have three choices or three options right here. You can either update, view the change log, right here, and ignore it. When you ignore it, you're just going to get to this old interface. And you can always press update launcher. And when you press update, it's going to download some files to the desktop. Tell you download success. Please uninstall Assassin's Craft Launcher and afterwards run AC Launcher. I'll install the MSE on your desktop. After installation, please delete the installer or move the web from the desktop for further installations. So, what you do now is double click this Assassin AC Launcher installer, press yes. This is by the way the updating process. So it's going to take a while to remove the files. And after that is done, you go ahead, close this up and run the AC launcher installer. Press next, again, next, next. And it's going to update everything to the up to the world. So after that installation is done, um, you can just go ahead, delete this file right here and start the launcher again and it's going to be fully updated. So that was everything for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment and subscribe and be sure to download the Assassin's Craft. See ya!